All right, I thought I'd just take you out to our tiny house that we're thinking about um, basically getting and um, remodeling. But I wanted to show you uh, a little bit of the before. I thought it'd be kind of neat to watch it happen. It is so green out here. I don't know if you can see. We've now got these darn caterpillars hanging again um, from the trees. It really sucks. And I noticed uh, there are flowers on some of the trees again, just like it was in the spring, or I guess February, March. That would be spring here. Um, so it's almost like they're, they have two springs, or this is a weird year. Um, which I wouldn't doubt that. And I don't know, I think a lot of you have seen our other videos of what this looked like when we were deciding if we were gonna buy it, buy the property. But it is in bad shape and uh, we just like the idea that it was the old voting station out here for uh, Refurio County. And uh, there's not much left of it. I don't think there ever was really thing any anything really much to it, but it's just a stick based or stick built um, little house try and get this while I'm filming all the trees and thorn thistle trees and things like that I think those are locusts but I don't know what they call them here they are nasty though they've got about some of them have two inch spikes on them um, it should be like a locust back home but I'm going to start, I mowed this area a few minutes ago, or an hour ago, and I'm going to come out and kind of clean it up so that we can see what we've got, make sure there's no snakes around it, and uh, yeah, we can get a better idea if it's worth, if it's worth saving or not. I'm going to take this one out, I'm going to clean up around here, and we're going to go around the edges, there's an old cattle femur or something. Uh, we're finding all kinds of bones from animals, but uh, it's in pretty bad shape. But I'd like to save it if we can, because if we don't do something quick, it's not going to be savable. Um, the foundation's kind of twisting and rotting, but it's something I like. These are the projects I love to do. Um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of it, but. As it twists and settles and things like that, the windows have broken in some areas. Um, so we're going to take a look. I see we saw, there was something else sitting back here. Building wise, there's pipes coming out of the ground. Um, kind of looks like there's a septic underneath here. A lot of debris anytime you get neglected areas like this on a farm that just collects garbage and stays. Ooh, you've got your uh, flip-flops on. That's really dangerous out here. Why? There's probably snakes in here. We've, we haven't really explored in here much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the uh, chainsaw. I'm going to take a chainsaw and the uh, weed eater and the blower and we're going to see if we can't clean this up enough so that we can see what's going on there are, there are holes down in here jade yeah. that you don't want to fall into mm -hmm. and uh it's just overgrown i think we'll leave that tree just clean it up but this looks like maybe the front porch of it but again this was a voting station for refurio county for i'm sure for years and then uh they stopped that and probably built a building in town and this is what's left of it so I thought I'd just give you a, um, a shot of what this turned out the first hour maybe yeah about an hour I spent out here yeah. but um, I'll take you around and show you look at this Jade well it, it is a sunken area here 
that's about oh I don't know I thought it was about a foot but it's probably eight inches maybe deep it looks like a sunken graveyard but it's not so I don't know if uh, you can pick it up on this but uh, yeah there's a big sunken area right there where maybe they have dug something out or I don't know so we have run across some different items out here got the cow femur um, Yep. We ran across a uh, horn. Wow. Watch your feet so you don't mess it up. But we cleaned this up. We took the trees out, um, those thorn trees. What's that? And weed ate. Weed ate. What's and that looks like maybe it was part of the front porch at some point. Yeah. You can see the timbers here where the front porch, I think sat on right yeah and that must have been a platform to come off of the porch to keep your feet from getting muddy or dirty or the dogs could chew on this yeah you're right you just need to cover it in peanut butter <laughs> yeah, really. they don't eat anything while they in peanut butter yeah but um anyway it exposes the uh, foundation a little bit more there is a lot of uh wiring that looks like needs to be assessed, removed, and um, reloaded. But <coughs> if you're careful, are there oh, I'm sure there are somewhere, but well, what is this? I don't know what that is. It looks like some kind of a, a tank used to be on that there. Yeah. There's all kinds of things at these farms. You know, for you city guys like me, I'm kind of more city than I am country, but you know, this looks so crazy to me, but to these farmers and everybody that live out here, this is just normal. This is what you'd expect to see and I get it. But uh, anyway, it is pretty rough, but now we can actually, after tomorrow, we'll be able to have the kids come out here if they wanted to and not worry about snakes because once you get this stuff cleared out, um, I think it'll be okay. Oh, there's Charlie coming. The cats run back there. Do they? Mm, one time I saw them. Mm, two actually. Hi, Charlie. Hi. You watch your feet, okay? Okay. We're about done. There's a couple spots where it looks like animals have gotten underneath this. Um, and I'll show you that tomorrow, Jade. But anyway, this is where we're at for tomorrow. And uh, we'll bring you along after I get a few more things done out here so we can assess what really is going on with these pipes <coughs> what is it? hopefully i will feel better and all the kids will feel better but yeah see that watch out there's there are a bunch of holes this is a Cat hole. hole i'd like to investigate because i don't want the kids going down in there and getting into snakes and if i clear that up and bring some dirt from the back part of their land or the property um, and fill this up and pack it real good this will be okay at some some point for the kids to come in here but right now it is pretty much off limits isn't it girls yeah i think i might leave that jade that tree yeah because it eventually it will provide some shade to these buildings this one i think we'll probably have to get rid of because it's too close to our sheds and yeah. barns but it looks like I, don't, I really can't tell what is going on here if this has been here for a long time and things were set up and electricity was set up at some point it kind of looks that way you can see there's an antenna up there there is a security light that's inactive and there's some power going to it so at some point I, I really don't think it was just moved from the original voting station location I think they brought it here, hooked it up, and somebody used it. There are dishes inside, cleaner, um, remnants of guns and things like that. Nothing active, just old boxes that, that guns were purchased. And but uh, anyway, it's probably a, a ranch hand that lived here. Okay, guys, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna we're clean, clean the tiny, the tiny house. house. So we are going to come over and continue where we left off. We cut the trees out and a lot of the brush out of here. So it actually is approachable now, which is nice. 
and Rose is going to take you around and show you the before picture before we get started. Here's the front door. And you walk in. And to your right, you have, I don't know, this area, mess, maybe a bedroom or something. There's hangers. Pretty boring and basic. And then to the left of that, you have this spot, which we've found lots of things up here. And then you walk over here, straight forward, and this looks like it was a kitchen. Has lots of things. And I'm not gonna see his face again. And yeah, what did you find, Charlie? So, this is the guy's face I don't like. That's creepy. Is that, that said, creepy? Uh, it might, it's a bottle? Oh, gee, you're right, it is a bottle. It is a bottle. What do you think is in it? Wine. Something like that? Yeah, oh. that's creepy though. There's still stuff in it? I see. Does it feel like there's stuff in it? No, it feels kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah, so, kitchen. Uh, and move over. This plain Dad, you want me to just throw this in your truck? And then they have a little attic. Which? Yeah, they have an attic and the back door. So it's a pretty small house. This is basically it, right here. Okay, so we're basically done for today. I'll show you what we did. So again, you walk in here, it's pretty dark. And you come in here, there's no picture, none of that stuff. The floor still need to clean, but otherwise that's pretty good. You come over here, you have your paper towels. And nothing, yeah. We cleaned that all off, everything off of that hook. And, uh, and you go up to the kitchen, which is a huge difference. Um, we cleared everything out of all the cabinets and we haven't cleaned it yet. So we cleared that. And that's basically what we did today. Yeah, we didn't go in the attic today. It's haunted. There's also some stuff that we thought that we might be able to keep, like some of these bowls and plates and some of these knives. They're really clean. Some sponges to clean out here and some hammers. So our very, very nice neighbors dropped off some food at the fence down there because we are all sick. Right, Lily? I'm not sick. Yeah. Everyone either is sick or has already been sick. Yes, I just have a cold. Um, but we sh we really really need to thank these people because they've done a lot for us. They've bought us cheesecake. They've done this, which is very very thoughtful, and they've done a lot of other things. So we really really appreciate them, and we really appreciate their family. So let's go. Lily, you're being a slow pup. Come on. Are you still sick? I'm not sick. I have a cold. You do? Yeah. Why don't you tell them how much you appreciate them, though? They're really thoughtful and kind. And when we're, and uh, they when they figured out we we're sick, they they um figured they could give, give us food, and it was really kind to of them. Yes. Can't hold it. Look it. Get well soon, love, Presley. Mm. That is so kind of them. Can I? <gasps> That's so cute. Yeah. I know. Then they homemade a lot of this stuff. Like, well, they homemade some brownies. I'm pretty sure. They made some brownies. Yeah. Um, and they bought us stuff. Yeah. And they got us a little frisbee with a nice little note on it. Isabella, how much do you appreciate them? I appreciate them really much. They're really kind, and I'm really thankful for them. Yes, me too. And all the girls are all the way up there. Now we're the slow pokes, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we are outside, and we are going to try the guineas at night in the tree here. I wanted this to be the first tree they got into and experienced um, because we want them to roost here at night. So we are going to see. Hold this, please. Okay. 
I wanted to see if you guys could see it on camera, but they're up there. I had to actually put them up there. But I think they'll feel safe enough. They can fly at this point. So I'm not concerned about them falling out. And they are kind of, I would call them an adolescent age at this point. Maybe a little younger, but I think they're going to do just fine. I think the other birds are wondering why the heck they get to go up there when they're they going don't. in this. <laughs> we found a turtle! So our, friend, our neighbors found a turtle and, said, and left it here. Cause, and it's pretty scared for a snapping turtle, but it's because it's not one. It's moving. I'm gonna go out in here, Charlie. Stay there. Can touch oh, look it. at that thing. Don't touch it. Oh yeah, you can. See, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah, we can. Charlie, what do you think? Cool because uh, it can actually move. I just bugged him. So what is it? A turtle. Yeah, isn't that cool now? I mean, a tiny. That is so cool. Uh -huh. I was a little scared at first to touch it. Mm. Our neighbors also said that it had leeches on it. I know that's sad because it could have been sucking its blood. Yeah. Them you know what leeches are? Them. Yeah. You do? Yeah. What do they do? They sink the blood. They suck your blood. Say bye for now. Bye. Say bye for now. Bye. Say bye for now. Bye for now.